Now this is a fragrance by the House of Dua that I did not request. I know nothing about this fragrance, but all I heard was, yo, it's a guaranteed ball sprayer right up your alley. Now if you're coming with that kind of confidence, I'ma test your chin. Oh, oh, scary. Now two things that are confusing me about this original creation. One is the name because it has AI in it. Now was this a formulation done through the AI sphere? Because everything nowadays is very Will Smith fighting robots. Oh, hell no. And why the hell is the bottle so big as it's a 100 ml? The fragrance is AI Vanille, and Sammy came to me real confident with this particular fragrance because it's vanillic and alcohol, AKA booze. Now you caught my attention. So let's roll my music so we can check out if AI Vanille stands to compete with all the recent vanilla fragrances that have been dropping. <laughs> Bless you, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C3 to the B to the A. Shout out to Dua for sending this fragrance and sponsoring today's video. I did not request this fragrance once again, so I will look up the notes and see what kind of energy this is going off of. My thought process based on this presentation and the name is that maybe the formulation was thought of or the whole concept was thought of via AI or was maybe this graphic developed via AI? I don't really know. Maybe it'll have it on the website. I'm just gonna cruise through the notes and put them on screen so you guys can follow along with me. So in this particular fragrance, it's categorized as a gourmand and the notes on it are mandarin orange intense warm amber madagascar vanilla tonka beans with brown sugar followed by vanilla custard sandalwood guyac wood bulgarian rose drenched in vanilla cognac madagascar vanilla and powder infused rum what the hell is a powder infused rum that sounds like a weekend with uncle cuba in miami off of a yacht and the only way that rum is powder infused is if it fell off my nostrils yes! i'm kidding i don't do those things He's kidding, right? So this 100 ml is hovering around the $125 mark before any other coupons. You know, do a forever throws coupons, but who gives a flying shit? Cause nobody's gonna buy anything if the fragrance sucks heavy balls. So it's vanilla and booze right up my alley. I don't anticipate that this is gonna suck. And if you're coming at me telling me that it's a guaranteed ball sprayer, I mean, <laughs> we'll see. Let's see what's up with AI Vani. Well, that is actually nice. Yep. Yeah. It's a very interesting powdered, milkish, bright, sour, citric, boozy essence. Damn. <clears throat> I'm just gonna let the boost pumps speak for them. Some good fucking atomizer. Jesus, look at that. That is good. All right, get away from me because I don't want it to choke me. It always happens. I spray these shits in the air and they get up in my throat and pause. That sounded crazy. Daddy, chill. Let's see what this shit's smelling like on skin. All right, I don't need to get close. I am definitely get the oodiness. I'm getting a lot of woods here, followed by vanillic powdery lactose kind of situation. Powdered, canned, milky, booziness coming off of this joint. That is kind of like a, like it said, a dusting of booze and, and vanilla. It's kind of like powdered vanilla put in, in the, what is that, the colander or whatever that you, Nah, you sift it through, is that what it's called? It, it smells like that, so a dusty, lightly powdery vanilla sifted through on a bed of like, a, on a bed of like sugary, ambery booze, like a sheet of it, and you're just sifting powdered vanilla all over it. That's what I'm getting, it's a lactosey, woody, vanillic, nicely boozed, there's a thick, aged barrel kind of alcoholic kind of essence from that wettish kind of wood that soaked that barrel that I'm getting in the air. Let me get close. Nice citrus brightness, not keeping it very linear, not just going vanillic and booze. There's a nice bright element to this joint. I can't specifically say it's Bulgarian rose, but I'm getting a floral earthy component, almost soilish at that midsection, giving it some structure and some body. This actually feels very niche and kind of classy. Now in the air, it has a nice sillage, but on the skin, it's becoming kind of close to the skin. I had a nice scent bubble in the first interaction. It was kind of lingering and it still sort of is, but it's not really popping off the skin. Skin, it's more of an aerial spray type situation. I don't know what the performance is. Again, I say it in almost every clone video. It has to be kind of sitting on the shelf, macerating for a significant amount of time, and then you'll start to see the changes and the performance really enhance. And to be honest with you, that's kind of happening with regular niche and designer fragrances, not just the clone interpretations. I don't know what that is. Maybe a proper perfumer or a chemist can answer those questions because I have no fucking idea about anything that I talk about. 
You see, you just can't trust anyone. Woody, very woody in this mid dry down section. Again, barrel aged booze, vanillic, creamy, light citrus. The citrus was opening up very nice, slightly sharp, a little sour. It has reduced a decent amount in this mid to full dry down. It's handsome, it's elegant, it's refined. It's not sharp, it's not off putting, it's very nice. I saw what you did there. You came out with big dick swinging energy and that little confidence factor. I'm fucking with it though. I mean, it's really turning out to be quite handsome on the skin. Like goose pimpies and old Dougie. Like, what are we doing, Doug? Yeah, I think I'm gonna be on some scent of the day wear. This is great distribution right now. <laughs> this is distribution. <coughs> it just, ugh, fuck. It distributes too much. I gotta spit, it's on my mouth. Guess what? Tastes like shit. Oh, that's not good. Not edible, and I might die. <coughs> Overall, I'm gonna give this a good 7.4 and definitely a ball sprayer. That's very nice. Keep it down there. I'm not spraying anymore up top because I'm gonna choke on this shit. <coughs> My mouth's going numb. Am I dying? I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. A very good boozy vanilla with a little bit of a lactose barrel aged bourbon type situation. How does AI Vani sound for you? I'll put it in the description below. It's a very good vanilla fragrance and this goes to show you that they know how to do original scents, just need to do it more often. I'm gonna put in order for some. I need to force them to step up their original game and just make more of them. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and let me know what your favorite vanilla fragrance is. Smooches. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk on my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>